Hi, hello and welcome back to F1 Challenge Career Mode. My name is Mafesto and today we are heading off to the United States for round 9 of the 2004 Formula 1 season. Let's get started. Located in Indiana, the awesome Indianapolis circuit combines the start-finish straight from the infamous two and a half mile oval with an incredible selection of slow, medium and fast sweeping corners custom built for Formula 1. We start off quality with a bang as a break really late into turn 1, hit the minority and lose a whole lot of time. Amazingly enough, I still posted the fastest time through sector 1, but that is a 116.6, a pretty decent pace for me on this track. Hello there. Welcome to the United States of America. Weather-wise, it's pretty overcast, with occasional drizzle making things very tricky out there. Button first. Raikkonen second. The Salva driver performed brilliantly in qualifying to line up third. Schumacher, fourth. Ralph Schumacher, fifth. Sato, sixth. Fernando Alonso, seventh. David Coulthard, eighth. Montoya, ninth. Panis, tenth. Cristiano De Mata, eleventh. Trulli failed to get anywhere near the pace of his championship rival, the Sauber driver. Gianmarica Bruni, 13th. Zofandada, 14th. Giorgio Pantano, 15th. Nick Heidfeld, 16th. Chris Lee 17th. Rubens Barrichello, 18th. Weber, 19th. Massa was way off the pace of his teammate. He starts in 20th. Here we are on the grid, starting from third, that second row of the grid. This is the best grid position we've ever had as I usually start from the back here. Lights are out and we're off, and as you can see it's quite damp at the moment, but hopefully the weather will clear further down the line, as Michael Schumacher overtakes me. Then I kind of forget where I am on the track and break a bit early after which I get back on the throttle and make contact with Jensen Button. Not the prettiest of starts to a Grand Prix, but luckily none of us got hurt. As I go wide through this right hander allowing Ralf Schumacher to overtake me, from 3rd to 5th in just a few corners. That's not exactly what I wanted, as I continue to make mistakes David Coulthard overtakes me as well. The slippery track is not helping much either. And here is a replay of the start, everyone seems to break away nicely, no one got stuck and no one crashed into anyone. Well, not yet at least. As we charge down into turn 1, we're free wide, myself, Button and Raikkonen, I then bang side pods with Jensen Button, luckily that's all that happened. As we are coming around to finish lap 1 of the US Grand Prix, it's time to fight back, I have cool thought in my sights. I take the high line, probably not the best to overtake on, I keep to the left, this is quite dangerous if either of us makes even the slightest mistake we could end up in the wall, thankfully we didn't as I try to overtake Ralf Schumacher into turn 1. I go a bit deep and that allows Schumacher to easily get back in front. As we reach the back straight, I have another go at Schumacher, break a bit late but that forces me to go deep again and again Ralf Schumacher effortlessly retakes his position. We are just about to start lap 3, I pass Ralf Schumacher but will I be able to hold on to the position this time? Nope, I break late again, go very deep this time, Schumacher trying to find a way around me, however I try to stick to the line which seems to be working. And I make another mistake coming out of that right hander, so Schumacher retakes 4th. This is a bit frustrating, but it's also a pretty interesting little battle. However, I hope it ends soon. We are just about to start lap 4 and I'm having another look at Schumacher. I easily overtake him on the straight, but will I be stupid again and break late into turn 1? 
Um, not the prettiest line through there, but at least I get to keep the position this time. Lap 6 and I'm on Raikkonen's gearbox, flick the car to the right and that's third place, so we're now back where we started from. Lap 7, coming into one of the most annoying parts of the track, for me at least, and Kimi Raikkonen overtakes me on the inside, well done, however I manage to squeeze my way through but then I go very wide, so I tuck in behind the McLaren, then flick the car to the left and retake third. Next is Schumacher, as in Michael Schumacher. One lap later, the skies have cleared and the track is already starting to dry up. Meanwhile, there's an incident somewhere on the track. And here we have Nick Heidfeld in his Jordan, coming into the pits, he crosses the line and drives straight into the wall. Wow, I never thought I'd see something like that. That was amazing. As we're now looking at Button, who was passed by Michael Schumacher not so long ago. And I don't think I like the fact that the Ferrari is in front of the BAR. But what's this? They are preparing to stop? Could this be? Could we take the lead of the United States Grand Prix? Yes, we can, as both Button and Michael Schumacher peel off into the pits. This is amazing news. Now let's try to build a gap. We never actually won the United States Grand Prix. Closest we came was a third place, I think. And there is another incident, so let's have a look. And here is Jarno Trulli with Sato in front of him. And just like Heidfeld not so long ago, he crashes into the pit wall. And Montoya hits the damaged Renault. Quite a weird place to crash, don't you think? As we see Barrichello coming into the pit as well. Not sure what to make of all this. That's not a place where you'd commonly see accident. Hmm, I'm quite intrigued now. One lap later I get informed of another incident. However, this time multiple cars are involved, so let's have a look. First we have Kimi Raikkonen in the McLaren, he comes into the pits and smashes into the wall, and it looks like Trulli's car is still there. I'm starting to find this quite amusing. And next we have Mark Webber in the Jaguar, and he does the exact same thing. And that is Pantano in the Jordan. Yeah, interesting turn of events here at the United States Grand Prix. That's quite insane if you ask me. That's a total of 5 cars retiring in the same way. I just hope they clear the pit lane as I have to stop at the end of this lap. And at the end of lap 12 we come in for fuel and a fresh set of tires. It looks like the pit lane has been cleared. That's good, you don't want to dodge cars even in a wide pit lane such as this. And looking at my LCD display, Michael Schumacher is really far behind so we might come out in front of him. That stop took nearly 12 seconds, that's very slow, but that's okay as it seems that we will still come out in front of Schumacher. So let's not mess up now. Lap 13, coming through the back straight, there are wave yellows here and that was the Renault of Fernando Alonso there in the middle of the track. I wonder what happened. And here we have Alonso in the mouth 7 Renault. He's on the back straight, rushing towards the left-hander, and he just stops his car. I think he might have run out of fuel. So that's 6 retirements now, that's exactly how many we had in Monaco this season. Anyway, let's just finish the race. And of course it wouldn't be a United States Grand Prix if I didn't go off at least once. Luckily Schumacher is nearly 30 seconds behind so there's no risk of losing the lead. But now coming through the final corner of the race, guys bring out the champagne because we are about to become the 2004 United States champion. This is absolutely unbelievable. This is our first ever victory here in the US. Wow, I never would have thought that I might pull off something like this. I'm really really happy about this result. There are simply no words to describe just how happy this makes me. One of my most hated circuits and I managed to win. That champagne is gonna taste mighty good after this. Anyway, before we get too carried away, let's have a look at the standings. Well, that's the end of another great United States Grand Prix. Here are the final results. The Salva driver first. Schumacher second. Jensen Button third. With the results confirmed, it's high time we updated the Drivers' Championship. Michael Schumacher first. Michael Schumacher is still leading the Drivers' Championship, now with 64 points. We are in second with 49 points. Jensen Button is third with 41 points. 
In fourth, we have Trulli with 39 points, Barrichello is fifth with 36 points, Raikkonen is sixth with 21 points, Juan Pablo Montoya seventh with 20 points, Takuma Sato eighth with 19 points, Alonso is ninth with 18 points, in tenth we have Ralph Schumacher with 14 points, eleventh is held by Weber with 11 points, Coulthard is twelfth with 9 points, Panis thirteenth with 5 points, Massa 14th with 3 points, and in 15th we have Klien and Damata with 1 point. Ferrari move further ahead at the top of the Constructors' Championship. VAR are second, whilst third place is held by Renault. Ferrari lead the Constructors' Championship with 100 points, BAR are second with 60 points, Renault are third with 57 points, our team is 4th with 52 points, Williams are 5th with 34 points, McLaren 6th with 30 points, Jaguar are 7th with 12 points, and Toyota are 8th with 6 points. That was quite a fantastic win. Again, I never would have thought that I might pull off something like this at one of my most hated circuits. And it now looks like we might be able to turn this championship around. I don't want to count my chickens before they've hatched but I believe that we could still potentially win the title this season. Anyway, our next race takes us back to Europe for the French Grand Prix at Manico. Hopefully, we'll have as much luck there as we had here today. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, stay sharp.